think the coral is very interesting. And it makes for a, a wonderful public display. Um, there are lots of different types of coral. There's lots of diversity that's out there. Coral is an animal, um, and some people just in, in looking at it don't necessarily see that. It doesn't, you know, they don't move around. Uh, they're not free living. They don't swim, um, but they're incredibly important. Um, they're the, you know, they form the foundation of an entire ecosystem in the wild. They, they form the, you know, a living, a living reef. The aquarium has been keeping uh, coral here for uh, a number of years. In the last two, two and a half years, um, we've really, it's something that we've, we've chosen to focus on. And we have dedicated uh, a large amount of, of behind the scenes space, holding space, um, so that we can actually grow, grow out the coral that we have um, and you know, increase the, the size and the diversity of our coral collection. So with this coral here, um, when it was originally glued onto this rock several months ago, it was just this central stalk um, that's got the little three branches up at the top. Um, and since then, it's grown out horizontally. And it's also uh, added this new, uh, this new little stalk coming off the side here. So you can see, um, while the, the growth is, is fairly slow, um, as I said, this, is, you know, this has been glued on here for several months. Um, it is starting to, to grow out, and it's, it's already overgrown the, the, uh, all the super glue that we use to attach to the rock. Um, eventually, um, these two uh, fragments, which are on this rock, will grow together, and you'll have one, um, one large coral colony. What we were looking to do was to, to create one large tank that would, that would be kind of that coral reef itself. You have to have a vision in your head of what you're, you're trying to create. Um, you have to, to think a little bit about um, how big the corals grow, what their particular needs are. Uh, some corals uh, do much better in a very, very high light environment, and others don't need quite as much light and won't thrive in a very high light environment. Our, you know, some corals need um, extremely high water flow, and some are, are better off with just a moderate water flow. Um, the, the real difficult thing now is you've got to go, you look at the tank every single day, and you say, okay, well, that coral over there, the colors have changed a little bit. It, maybe it's not doing quite as well in that particular location as it might. So let's, let's move it, and we'll move it you know, a foot lower in the water column. It will get slightly less light there. Um, so it's just the fine tuning. Yeah, you're always kind of on your tiptoes in there. It's a, it's, it's a balancing act. As a group of uh, related species of coral uh, grows, it will eventually kind of grow into one, one large colony. We have several smaller fragments right now that are taking up space in a tank with the idea that as they grow, um, those fragments will essentially combine to form one large, uh, kind of one large planting, if you will. It's a work in progress, and there are, you know, six months from now the tank is going to look considerably different than it does today because you're going to have uh, all, the, all the gaps and the holes that are uh, visible in the, in the tank right now where you can look through the coral and you can see rock are going to start to fill in. And a couple of years after that, um, those coral fragments are going to have grown into one another and, um, and will truly have a, a mature uh, coral reef exhibit.